Welcome to Crane Pumps and Systems. As a company devoted to excellence in service and support, we've created this Barnes Replacement Core Unit video to help make your installation job easier. It includes step-by-step -step instructions that take you through the entire process. And it is a great supplement to the Barnes Installation and Operating Manual. The Barnes Replacement Core Unit is a product that is built to last longer, with fewer malfunctions than the original unit, but only if it's installed correctly. For that reason, we've organized this video into four sections. Safety and tools, removing the old unit, modifying the power cord, and installing and testing the new pump. So, if you're ready to begin, let's get started. As always, your safety comes first, so make sure you read the Safety First section of the manual carefully before you begin. When you arrive at the job site, always disconnect the source of power from the pump to reduce the risk of electrical shock. Never handle connected power cords with wet hands. Keep clear of suction and discharge openings, and never insert your fingers into the pump when the power is connected. Nothing is more frustrating than arriving at a job site and finding out you don't have the necessary tools. To install the Barnes Replacement Core Unit, you'll need the following. A half-inch socket, a ratchet, a long extension depending on the depth of the station, wire strippers, wire cutters, a multimeter to check voltage and amps, a small slotted screwdriver, and an adjustable wrench or channel locks. Okay, to begin, remember to first isolate the power and shut it off. Also, turn off power to the control panel at this time, and replace the circuit breaker with the one in the Barnes kit. Refer to the installation manual if you have any questions. Do not restore power until the installation process is complete. Then, open the station using a socket wrench to remove the bolts, take the cover off and set aside. Next, close the discharge valve. Disconnect the pump's power cable from the incoming power cord using a screwdriver. Loosen the cord grip on the pump's cable and remove the internal screws and cap. Pull the wires from the plug and set it aside. Now it's time to pull the old core, which may take two people. Open the wiring package and remove the grommet from the cord grip. Place the cord grip, washer and grommet over the pump's cord. Then place the other grommet and cap over the cord and tighten. Twist the ends of the wires and refer to the step-by-step -step instructions and wiring diagrams in your instruction and operating manual. Next, put each wire into the plug, insert a screw and tighten. Then push the plug into the case and screw it into place. Replace the black seal. Then plug the unit's cord into the incoming power cord and secure with screws. Now simply slide the cord grip up and tighten. Pry off the protective terminal block caps with a screwdriver and unscrew the bolts. Insert the power cord and the level control cord making sure the protrusion on the cords line up with the indentations on the terminal block. The power cord has larger pins and the level control has smaller pins. Tighten the bolts. Now insert the cord into the level control. Install the mounting bracket using the hardware provided. Turn the power on and perform a dry run to make sure everything is working correctly. This can be done by tilting the level control horizontally with a diaphragm pointing upward. The pump should start. To check the alarm, keep the level control horizontal and rotate it so the diaphragm is downward. The alarm should sound. After you've tested the pump, turn off the power. Put the grommet on the end of the discharge pipe and lower the pump into the basin. Make sure the discharge pipe fits into the receiver. Then open the discharge valve. Lower the level control into place and wrap the cords, securing them with zip ties. Next is final water testing. Turn the alarm circuit breaker on and leave the pump power breaker off. Run water into the tank until the alarm light and buzzer come on. 
Then turn the pump power breaker on and pump the water level down. The alarm light and buzzer will go off in 60 to 90 seconds and the pump will shut off in another 60 seconds or less. An amp reading may be performed while the pump is pumping down. This will give a base amp reading on the new pump for future reference. If there are any problems, refer back to the installation guide or contact Crane Pumps and Systems customer support. Once you've got everything working, replace the cover, insert the bolts, and tighten. That's it. Another job well done and another satisfied customer, thanks to you and Crane Pumps and Systems.